We have some fascinating space news. In the heart of our galaxy is a massive black hole. It is about four million times the mass of the sun. Astronomers call it Sagittarius A star, and up until now, they only had indirect proof of its existence. However, now we have some solid evidence in the form of photos. I have with me our space expert and writer, Scott Sutherland, to talk all about the Sagittarius A star black hole. So let's begin with the photo, and you can tell us what we're looking at. Right. Um, so what we're seeing here is, is the, the heat and radiation being emitted by a disk of matter swirling around the black hole uh, called the uh, accretion disk. And the shadowy region inside that ring is the black hole itself, or at least the event horizon, where beyond that, even light cannot escape the, gra the, the gravity of the black hole. And the bright spots, we're not sure about what those are specifically. It could just be an artifact of the observations, or it could be real, where more material was, was, was gathered in those areas over, over the time of the observations, where it produced a, a brighter glow. So why is it so blurry? Right. So what we're seeing here uh, is an idea of what the black hole's accretion disk probably looks like in real time where the material which is traveling around the speed of light uh, only takes about minutes to orbit around it. Um, but this is just a simulation for the real image. Uh, now this one, for the telescopes had to stare at the black hole for hours at a time just to gather enough light to add onto this image, the little drips and drabs of light coming in from this area of space. So just like taking a long exposure image of say like your dog, doing zoomies around the backyard, uh, you're just, you're gonna get a blurred, a uh, motion blurred image at the end. When yeah, you those take never the, turn those out well. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's so, right. Right, so, so that's what we're seeing in that final image is that motion blur of the stuff going around over hours of time that these, that these individual images were taken by these telescopes. Yeah, so let's talk about those telescopes. How did we get these images at all? Because uh, they're fascinating and it's it's a first time for this right. for this black hole specifically. For this black hole, right. So um, we we saw M87's black hole three years ago in 2019. That was the very first image we saw of the black hole. Now this one, Sagittarius A star, is much, much closer to Earth than, than the M87 black hole. Uh, it's about 27,000 light years away, but it's very small by comparison as well. Uh, it's about the size of, say, looking at the uh, a donut on the surface of the moon. So we need a very big telescope to see it. Uh, well, the thing is, we don't have a big telescope, at least not that big. So astronomers networked together a bunch of telescopes to produce the Event Horizon Telescope, which is effectively uh, roughly the size of Earth. Wow. Yeah. That's how we see donuts on the moon. I love that. <laughs> I love <laughs> that. That picture is going to stay in my mind. So uh, yep. what is next? now that they've made this discovery. We've got about 45 seconds left. Okay, so basically what's next is that they want to upgrade this telescope, upgrade the, the Event Horizon Telescope and add even more telescopes to it so that they can take crisper, clearer image, uh, images uh, and even view other black holes as well in other galaxies such as uh, maybe Andromeda and so forth uh, to be able to learn more about how these black holes form how the galaxies form around them, and more about our universe in general. Always interesting to talk to you, Scott. Always interesting to see what's happening in our night skies. We look up, and now I think we know so much more about the Sagittarius A-star black hole. Thanks again for your expertise on this. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome.